echoing crowd can be heard throughout the Imperial City as a fierce battle between two titans of the arena clash for the title of Grand Champion. But it's all quiet at the waterfront of the Imperial Heartland, as certain residents of the city usually come to escape the distraction of the arena games. The Wyatok residents. And as a mother takes her son to view the harbor, to escape the sounds of the arena, there were dangers that were unknown to them. Dangers that were beyond their control. Oops! I better not let the Legionnaires see me littering. Oh well, I better get to the arena before my brother's bout begins. Wait, what do we have here? Come Kenji, your father should be finishing up soon. Let's get ready to head home. Okay, Mom. Oh, and who is this dear damsel that has been blessed to be in my presence? Uh, I think we need a proper introduction. Pardon me, my lady. Can I interest you in joining a famous gladiator for a few drinks? I'm sorry, Orc. I'm not interested. I'm a happily married woman taking my son out for some fresh air. Now, if you don't mind, I prefer you leave us alone. Perhaps I can offer your son an autograph. The little ones do tend to like me. I'm sorry, sir, but I said no. But wait, there's more. Wait until your son gets a load of these massive pythons. I am a champion-ranked gladiator after all, my lady. So, what do you say? I'm sorry, Orc. But please leave us alone before I yell for the Legionnaire patrols. We just wish to be left alone. No need to get serious, ma'am. I'm just trying to have some fun. Hey, kid. Who's your favorite gladiator? He doesn't watch those damn games. That's easy. That's my dad. He's the Grand Champion. Your dad is the Grand Champion. Uh... And I thought I was high off the skooma. I clearly need whatever you guys have been hitting. We're done here, Orc. Kenji, come on before I report this Orc to the authorities. Yeah, I don't like this guy here. Let's go home. Oh, come on, kid. Don't you want an autograph from a real champion instead of some made-up dad? The nerve of this Orc. Let's go, Kenji. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I am, after all, the most handsome orc you'll ever meet. Hey! You can't walk away from me! Nobody walks away from Umur and Brodushnik! Nobody! Hey, wench! I'm talking to you! Just ignore him, Kenji. You're not going anywhere! Mother! I'll teach you to walk away from me! Get off my mom! You dare attack me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with an orc gladiator! Take that, you little brat! Can't walk from me now, can you? Halt right there, criminal. These legionaries are starting to annoy me. There, no more annoying guards. Wait, did I do this? No! By Malakath, what have I done? It wasn't my fault, it was the Skuma. I've got to get out of here, out of Cyrodiil. I'm sorry, brother. Malakath has cursed me. I need to get out of here. Sarthus, wait for me! And so, 
Another tragic event unfolds as Umern begins to flee the city. For this heinous act will come at a cost and will no doubt have severe repercussions in the arena. Meanwhile, at the arena, the fierce battle between the Ebony Warrior and Nagrub Gro Dushnik is still ongoing, as their bout has already surpassed an hour. For no bout in the history of the arena has ever lasted this long, as each gladiator is pushed to their limits, surpassing what they even thought was their own breaking point, as the crowd has never seen such a battle before. But regardless of their feats and accomplishments, one truth still remains. And that truth is that there can only be one victor. Or can there? Come on, big guy. There's still plenty of fight left within me. Good. Because this is the only way a true grand champion should fight. Then come and earn it. I agree, these fighters deserve a rematch. I call it a draw too. Draw! 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 draw, 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 draw. Let there be a rematch. Draw! 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 draw, draw. But this cannot be. My victory isn't complete yet. I can't be beaten like this. Draw! 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 draw. So the crowd has spoken. The crowd has spoken. This bout ends in a draw. Accept it. This is not how it's supposed to end. Accept it, Hulk. And know that one day, you'll have your rematch. Fine. Mark my words, Red Guard. This isn't over. The title will be mine. Think whatever you want, but I'm done for today. Walk away, Grand Champion. Let it be known that on this day, that not even you could defeat me. True. But don't forget that you two couldn't defeat me either. Something that's going to disappoint you more than it will me. So live with that. Nagrub reflects on the Ebony Warrior's last words as it strikes a chord within the Orc's soul. Realizing that he failed to appease to Malakath and was forced to accept a draw. And although this grand bout concludes in a draw, the crowd will never forget such a spectacular duel. For these gladiators have proven that they are gods of the arena.
The gladiators return to their respective pits, where they receive some much needed rejuvenation. And unfortunately, there was some dreaded news that was about to be delivered to Ashan. The type of news that no one should ever have to hear. Of all my years as the Medicus, I've never seen such a duel. You truly are amongst one of the most gifted gladiators I've ever seen. Thanks, but clearly I wasn't the best. Otherwise, I would have won. Looks like retirement is on hold for now. Nonetheless, it was a spectacular bout. You'll earn that retirement soon enough. And with that said, I wish you a good day, sir. It's Sean Wyatuk, I take it. That's odd. Why are Legionnaires looking for me? What's this about? I asked, what's this about? Already. Who are you? I am Legate Matilius. I'm the captain of a special tactics and recovery team here in the Imperial City. And I am truly sorry to meet under these circumstances. But there was an attack at the waterfront an hour ago. A mother and child were brutally killed alongside two Legionnaires. I am sorry, but the mother and child are believed to be your wife and son. What? That can't be true. It's not true. My wife and son would be home by now. You have the wrong man, Captain. The family we identified were named Freya and Kenji Wyatuk. I am truly sorry, sir. But if you could come with me to identify them for sure, it would help with the investigation. This... this... can't be happening. I'm truly sorry, Sir Wyatuk. I should have been there. I should have protected them. Where's my family now? We moved them to the Elven Market District for burial preparations, while we examine the scene. I need to see them immediately. May the gods aid this man. And so, Legate Matilius delivers the dreaded news that no man ever wishes to hear as he sees the ebony warrior suddenly running to the Elven Gardens district. His heart runs conflicted as he prays that the Legate mistakenly identified the mother and child. But as he ran past the many citizens in his heart, he knew that the Legate was telling the truth. Hey, that's the Ebony Warrior. Ishan pays the fans of the arena no attention as he dashes through the Imperial City. His mind and heart only focusing on one thing as he arrives at the Elven Gardens district. Dashing with all his might as he is about to have his worst fears confirmed. But as he arrived, reality would soon set in. Sir Wyatuk, hang on before you approach them. Tall Papa, please, tell me this isn't real. Tell me, what happened to them? We believe it was a random incident involving Skuma. It appears they were at the wrong place, at the wrong time. Some junkie must have found them, and judging from the footprints, there must have been some type of confrontation that unfortunately turned violent. I am truly sorry for your loss, Sir Wayatuk. <sighs> Damn it. How could I have let this happen? I am sorry, Freya. I am sorry, Kenji. I should have been there to protect you, but I failed as both a husband and a father. May R.K. guide your souls home to Sovngarde, for there is truly no virtue in this world anymore. Tell me, Legate, do you have a suspect? Unfortunately, 
We only have a few eyewitnesses with a vague description. A large, pale individual who was seen fleeing the area heading north. Could have been an orc or a Nord. We are not sure yet, but we're hoping to find out more soon. Look, I know this isn't what you were hoping to hear, but I can assure you that this will be investigated with every resource I have. This, I can promise you. I appreciate your effort, Leggett. But I'm still trying to process what has happened. But ultimately, this doesn't change the fact that I've lost them. A fault that I bear the blame for. And so, the mighty Grand Champion mourns his loss. A loss that never should have happened, as what started off as any other day ended in tragedy for the Red Guard. For life in the Imperial City isn't always luxurious. Danger has been known to lurk anywhere, as a particular orc continues to flee north. And although the night is on the horizon, it would appear that this would, in fact, be Umern's last day in Cyrodiil due to his reckless behavior. I... I... I got to get out of here. Sarthus, where are you? Do you hear that? It sounds as if someone was calling for you. And look who decided to tag along after all. Sarthus, you gotta help me. I messed up. I messed up pretty bad. The Legionnaires, they're gonna be after me. You gotta help me get out of here, or else they'll throw me in some prison. He seems like a liability. By the wrath of Melfala? What did you do, mate? Don't tell me they found the barrel with your stuff in it. Because if they did, you're out of luck. That was my last batch. It's worse than that, Sarthis. The Skooma made me kill some mom and son. The Skooka took over. I... I didn't want to kill them. Then these Legionnaires got involved, and I killed them too. Now I don't know what to do, Sarthis. He put down some Legionnaires while under the influence. That's quite impressive, actually. Told you, mate. This orc is brothers with that Grodushnik gladiator fella. He wasn't too bad of a gladiator himself. He'd make for good muscle for our crew. So, what do you think? I guess it couldn't hurt. He's already a wanted person of interest by the authorities. Then again, so are we. Plus, I'm sure Gotto would welcome the extra muscle. So you'll help me? Yes, mate. We'll take care of you. But you got to ditch that fancy life. We can't be catching that type of attention in this line of work. You understand, mate? Thanks, Sarthus. You won't regret it. I promise. For an orc's word is his bond through the Code of Malakath. So, where are we heading? We're going to meet up with some folks of mine at the tunnels near the border. They'll get us into Skyrim undetected, mate. We'll need to get him suited up to look the part. He can't go around in that expensive wardrobe. Wait. These threads were custom made by an Altmerian fashion designer from Woodhearth. These aren't cheap. Then they'll fetch you some decent coin when you pawn them off. Come on, mate. Let's get going. It'll be dark soon. Who's this guy, anyway? Oh, you'll like him, mate. They call him the Cook. I'm sure you know why. Then consider me a fan of his work. That's enough with the chit-chat. We've got a long way to go. You're the boss. And so, Umurn manages to flee the Imperial City with the intent of never returning linking up with the gang who is responsible for his skooma addiction in the first place. For the Orc has now abandoned his brother Nagrub, ready to embrace this new life as a thug for some unknown crew of skooma dealers, already feeling as if he is off the hook 
for the murder of the mother and son who he slain out of rage due to his thirst for skooma. For such an action will eventually have severe repercussions. 